Well, here we are again talking about the KOTOR remake, and Jeff Grubb kind of comes in with a pretty big bomb this morning. Talking about that, it's canceled. The game's dead. Now, there's a few more things to kind of go into it, and there's also talking about how Jeff Grubb talks and whether it's opinion-based or whether it is, like, official-official, and we're going to go over that in this video. But to boil it down in the first, you know, 10 seconds there, he says that this game is no longer being worked on. There's been reports from him slash... I guess the industry, I had never heard of it, that the game had actually been taken away from Saber at one point. I've never heard that. I feel like we've kind of tracked it all throughout. Maybe I missed that part, but that's what he said, that, you know, the Aspire thing obviously happened. It went to Saber Interactive, and then it was moved maybe one more time, and then now the game is just nobody is working on the game. Canceled is probably, if that's true, if this is true, that would probably be the right word, right, because you're kind of just leaving it. It's possible that it's picked up, and that's what he says, you know, towards the— well. At the end of his little, you know, ranting on it, he says it's in his belief that the game is dead forever, that Lucasfilm won't come in to save it, that Sony won't come in to save it, that Disney, Lucasfilm, you know, being part of Disney now, right? Nobody's going to come in and save it. So it's in his opinion that the game is gone for good and you're just never going to get it. And that's, that's the opinion part. Now, you know, I say that out loud and it's important to mention because oftentimes Jeff Grubb will say his opinion and it'll get misconstrued for fact and then he kind of gets mad other times he's like hidden behind it before even though he said like he has heard things so in this case he does say quite a few times this is what he has heard from the industry he does lead with that we can put two and two together that if we've been paying attention we could have probably seen it coming those are not rumors those are uh, general opinions i guess of, of what's uh, been going on which were rumors at least some of them right so it's important to separate that fact this you know jeff grubb is definitely a guy that gets a lot of stuff right he has gotten stuff wrong i am like waiting on uh, because the one big thing we actually just talked about him is mass effect he said and this is not an opinion and i will not let him hide behind you know oh i was just saying this is an opinion thing he said he had heard this mass effect the next mass effect game 2029 I think that's absolutely ridiculous, and that's just my opinion. I think there's no way in hell unless something went catastrophically, which maybe it did, but it's in my belief that that is not true. So is this a guy that's gotten stuff wrong in the past? Yes. Is this a guy that could have been wrong just like a week ago when he talked about Mass Effect? Yes. So I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I don't trust the guy a thousand percent, and, and that's okay. You don't have to, or you can. It's completely up to you. I want this thing to happen. You know, we just talked about the quote yesterday. And, you know, as I said, there's multiple ways of reading the quote from the, you know, the CEO of Embracer, right? He talks about that whenever he says anything about KOTOR, it becomes a headline. So he's just not going to do that. The tough thing is you have to say something eventually. I know you don't want to get laid into comment wise, but you have to because either the game is still being worked on or it's not. And, Obviously, if it's not, they're going to take some major hits. The company is like collapsing as we speak, right? And as we said, literally in yesterday, last night's video, is it best that the game is just canceled and, and doesn't even come out? Like, do we even trust them? Maybe, like maybe it shouldn't. Maybe it should just stay dead or just never release. And, and that's, I do think that's fair, at least in like their version. I think, you know, KOTOR, one of the all-time greats, not just all-time great Star Wars games, one all-time great RPGs, all-time great games just in general. How how you mess this up is honestly beyond me. Now, I think there was a lot of different factors. I think Aspire was probably in over their head. Although, again, like the reports from people that were really, you know, connected uh, in, at least uh, what they say, is they felt extremely good about the game, what they were working on. So I don't know, maybe they weren't in over their head. Maybe there was just some weird expectation put on this game that wasn't met from like the Sonys and Lucasfilms of the, I really don't know. I truly don't know what could go wrong. But I also, like here's the thing too, I guess Jeff's, you know, opinion towards the end about like it, it'll never happen. Like, why? And I, I mean, I, I guess I get it. But like, why? How can you not? Is there not a studio on planet Earth that would take this? That is, I mean, you have to be qualified, I suppose, right? Is there not a studio that's got three years to like make a remake, make a bazillion dollars? And I, that is an exaggeration. But look, how easy it would be to make money off of this. Just doing a remake. You don't make like a third one. You literally remake what's already established. Okay. Is it really that hard? 
I don't think it like, and yes, it's easy to armchair quarterback it. Okay. I'm not there, but when you have qualified people that are talented programmers and designers and all this stuff, can they not just recreate what was already done 20 plus at, at the time it comes out 20 plus years ago? Can you not do that? And then make, I mean, the game would sell, it would sell so well. So I don't know. It was maybe just a, a bad match. Like I said, I honestly, I think what I'm going to do with this situation is I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for Embracer specifically to say it because I think it's like a 50-50 shot. I do think, and, and as we said, I think you can read into the whole no comment. Like, I'm not going to talk about this game right now because I don't want it to be like a headline. You can read into that as he is terrified to say the game's canceled. Because if he says the game's canceled... Well, there's your headline. Like, everybody will have that as their headline. You'll get destroyed. It's one of the last things you kind of got going for you, if you even can count it in the first place, right? So I do get that. On the other side of things, I think I still half believe, you know, what I said last night. I think it's a 50% shot that could happen where the game is just nowhere near close, right? Like, they're working on it, but it's slow, and it's been uh, it's been slowed down even further because of Embracer uh, collapsing on itself, right, and having to fire everybody. Like, maybe even Saber is having some issues, but they still want to do it. Like, it could be that, too, but you don't know. And because that would also not be a great headline. And we talked about that last night, right? Saying, well, we've had a lot of issues, and in fact, we're, we still have issues, but the game is coming. It's just been, you know, internally delayed even further. That's not a good headline either. And that is also, I guess, 50% with cancelization, 50%. It could be that. That That's where I'm at, at least. And, and also, again, like, Jeff Grubb does get a lot of stuff right, but he has gotten stuff wrong, and specifically with, the, like, the Mass Effect thing, he just said that. And so, like, I have this, like, bad taste in my mouth where it's, like, there's no way he's right on that. So, like, could he be wrong twice in a row? Maybe. Possibly. Maybe he's on the decline of his, like, rumor career. I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm right now not going to fully believe it until, and this is, like, what normal people do. It's only us people on the internet that actually do it the reverse. But I will wait, you know, for Embracer to actually say it out loud. That's what I'm going to do for this situation. Other times I don't really do that, but for this I'll do it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.